Chris, thank you guys so much for joining me here at Warped and Ken. It was a hot one today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how are you enjoying the tour? It's definitely been an adventure. I heard it's like rock and roll summer camp. <laughs> it, it basically is, yeah. I mean, I think we've had a really good time so far. Um, we started in really hot areas this year. So it was like baptism by almost literal fire. <laughs> um, and so, But, you know, we're just kind of getting our tour legs. I think, you know, anytime you go out on Warp Tour, especially, it's like you kind of figure out you know, when you get on a boat, you're like, whoa, how do I walk? Yeah. And it's like warp Tour is kind of the same way. Like, whoa, okay, there's press and signing and we're playing <laughs> and we're, you know, doing all this stuff. So um, I think we're hitting a, our groove a little bit and there might be some changes, but, um, you know, we're figuring it out. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, is it hard for you guys to decide how to craft the set list? Are you guys kind of aiming? I heard you guys mention in the other room, you're kind of doing the heavy stuff. Like, how yeah. the <laughs> we, we pretty much got our set nailed down. I think... We changed it like a couple times. Yeah, yeah, we've changed it, and sometimes like we get a little bit extra time. I, well, no, we don't get extra time. Sometimes less I don't, time. we get less time. Sometimes <laughs> I talk too much, and so we'll cut something. <clears throat> That's very normal. <laughs> um, or if there's like a weather delay or something, that we got to change up. Yeah, know, mm -hmm. condense the set time. But. Yep. So, um, but yeah, we get 25 minutes, so we try to do like five or six songs, like just get as much in there as we can. Um, but I think we're hitting a groove too with that, with the set. Um, we know basically what we want to do. That's <laughs> awesome. The, the album is self-titled. Right? Can you take me on the recording process for that? Like maybe one or two songs in particular and tell me what the mindset was like when you were putting it together. Sure. Um, I mean, I think for, uh, these songs were all kind of recorded at different times at different sessions. It's kind of a, a, um, collaborative album of a lot of work that's been kind of coming together and so um, but most of them were done with um, Pete Stewart who is a producer kind of out of that Seattle grunge scene um, and the drums were like all recorded with like just three mics in a room and um, like minimal editing you know and we just um, really wanted to get a really authentic rock sound to it um, and Pete's won Grammys for work with like Macklemore and <laughs> you know like he's got a lot of experience under his belt so um, and just because he's from that Seattle scene like he was he was perfect in bringing in like that last bit of edge. Um, I write a lot of songs on piano mm -hmm. so they all start coming out like pop songs <laughs> so um, you know getting the guitars in there and you know figuring out what the what the rock type beats sound like that that really just kind of like flips every song on its head and brings it to where we really want it so um but yeah i mean i think it's um you know the most recent two songs on the album that we recorded were what you wanted and our time now and i think that those sound the most like us um if we had to like pick a song that is like the introduction to dash 10 um and you know we've been having a great time with it that's awesome. So, you know, how did the, the band come together? I mean, I know you guys were all active members of, of the Armed Forces. How did you guys kind mm -hmm. of decide to put everything together, you know, musically? Well, I mean, we are still active duty soldiers, actually. Um, and so we kind of, we were all musicians when we came into the Army. That's what we came in to do. And I had been kind of doing the solo artist thing for a while and had these guys touring with me separately for... Um, for a couple tours, they happened to not overlap, but, um, and then we were like, let's do a band thing, so I called them up, asked them if they wanted to be a part of it, and here we are. <laughs> that's awesome. So is there anything that's misunderstood about the band? Is there something people get wrong? Have you noticed? Um, a lot of people don't think we're actually in the Army. I've had that question yeah. a lot. Like, are you guys actually in the army? And we're like, yes. That's not really what you do, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys don't really do this. What's the catch? Yeah. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I mean, people are just pretty cool about it. Like, we're really just out here trying to, you know, show how, and it's obviously the army is not for everybody. And we're definitely not like recruiters. Like, that's not what we do. What we're just trying to share is like, we did some something creative and it worked out for us in the army and just but really kind of separating like what people see a uniform 
on TV in a uniform in person because it's really just a person wearing an outfit. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I think that gets lost, like the uniform kind of blurs out your face. And so for us, it's really important to just consistently show like our personalities and, and what makes us different and you know how that still is a part of who we are. And it wasn't like canceled out because we joined the army and now we're like this clone, <laughs> you know? Like, Absolutely, it definitely gives it a voice. And I feel like music is such a unifying force with everything absolutely. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think one thing you, Corinne said in the past that really kind of hits it on the head is just that the, um, just because you're in the military doing doing service, you're not gonna just be a mindless robot. There still are artistic, creative ways and outlets, you know, that you can still serve. So it, it's good just exposing that because a lot of times you don't see that in the media and the press. Absolutely. So it, it's it's a kind of an eye opener for the public, I think. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out to speak to me. We'll get the rest of the summer holding store after war wraps up. Any big plans? <laughs> Lots of touring. We always tour a lot. Because, you know, I mean, the Army is, yes, they're supporting a band, but they're going to make us work. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, we we want to tour a lot this fall and um, maybe record some new stuff. We're kind of just looking at it right now. So, um, but, yeah, touring, touring, touring. That's pretty much our main function right now. <laughs> That's so exciting. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate thank you. it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much.